All right, a new challenger approaches. This is a suit from Mulan Studios. And uh, would I recommend them? Yeah, but with, with an asterisk. So who actually is Yulon Latex? Well, they're available on two different sites currently, Taobao and AliExpress. Considering that I don't know any Chinese, uh, I'm stuck with AliExpress. But uh, full disclosure, I actually didn't order this suit directly. Uh, this suit was ordered through another friend of mine, Rubber Beefcake. Um, he was putting in an order for a bunch of these suits. He gets his latex almost primarily from Yulon. And so I figured, hey, you know what? Your pictures look good toss an order with me too let's let's give them a shot so this was ordered through proxy through rubber beefcake so keep in mind your experience may differ a little bit from my own so now how was my actual experience with Yulon well this actually isn't my first suit from them this is my first suit from them and uh, <laughs> I'll give you a, a little story and the reasons why I needed to get a second suit. But this first initial suit, we had placed our order back in July 2nd. Uh, that's me and again, the couple suits that uh, Beefcake had ordered. But by July 15th, the order was already marked as shipping, which it, it, that's a 13 day manufacturing window. And if you're familiar with any latex brands, especially if you're doing a custom size suit, a 13 day turnaround window is absolutely unheard of. I have not experienced service that fast from placing my order to getting the suit shipped out. 13 days again for several custom sized suits, fantastic. And then after that, it took an additional 10 days, uh, arrived here in Chicago, July 25th uh, from when it was marked as shipped. So under a month from placing our order to get it, and get shipped to our door, Fantastic. Uh, but as soon as we opened up the order, at least for me, um, there were a couple problems afoot. Um, the first with this suit though, is the sizing. Now, going back to that initial order, it was a little weird. Because I had ordered through uh, Beefcake, I didn't look at the AliExpress page offered by Yuan, and so I didn't see their size chart that was offered on the seller page. So when we spoke with Yuan, they just asked if I had any measurements already pre-done. So I sent them the measurements with the sizing guide and everything for Invincible. And they were like, yeah, that's no problem. Well, they accepted Invincible's uh, measurements and um, and that was what they based the suit off of. And needless to say, um, it didn't work. Uh, the actual height of the suit was about four inches too short. Uh, we couldn't even pull it up high enough to get the zippers over my shoulders. So this was essentially useless because uh, it was it was sized all off. So so after that, I like specified. I was like, okay, you need to send me your size chart. Uh, so after getting myself resized to their specific size chart, uh, that's when they came back with this suit, which fits a whole lot better, but we'll get into that later. The second thing that was wrong with this suit though, was if you look at it and see, it's pretty shiny right now. I haven't shined this. It came from the factory pre-shined and that's weird. Again, if you've ever ordered from any other latex brand, they will ship gear with talcum powder. That is the standard across in the industry is when you order new latex clothing, it is shipped with talcum powder. And the issue for me with this is I love to chlorinate my latex clothing. If you're not familiar with what the chlorination is, uh, it allows you to uh, put on latex clothing without the use of lube or talc or anything. Uh, it's a chemical process where you're creating chlorine gas. And I have another video about that for more information, but long and short of it is, you have to do it with brand new gear that has not had any Vivashine or lube or anything like that in contact with it because as soon as those pores get filled with something, uh, it makes it very hard to 100% clean it out. It's basically impossible and that affects the quality of the chlorination being performed. It has to be brand new, never worn latex and that's the only thing that can be chlorinated if you want it to you know, really last. So with those issues noted with the first suit, uh, we reached it back out to uh, Yulon, sent the pictures of just how it didn't fit and you know, no questions asked. They're like, okay, we're gonna make you a new suit, which you know, bravo to you, Lon, standing by your product and like actually saying like, hey, yeah, you know what? It doesn't fit. 
we'll make you a brand new one. They didn't charge me anything extra for it, which is great because I've had other experiences like with latex catfish where when they screwed up the sizing, all they did was, hey, here's a coupon for your next order. Have a nice day, which like, I'm not going to order from you if you screwed up the sizing on it. Like what makes me want to order another one just because you had tossed me a 30% coupon. Like, so really good on you, Lon, for uh, making a whole new suit and not even charging me to shipping for it. Like that was A++ customer service on you, Lon's part. So now with the second suit, the order for this one was placed on July 26th. Manufacturing time took a little longer, 21 days. Uh, but it was marked for shipping on August 15th. And then this time, I think they did some expedited shipping because it only took four days to arrive uh, to Chicago. So, um, hey, I'll take it. But needless to say, here is Yulon Latex suit number two. <laughs> I'll also add in with that first order, I got a pair of toe socks with them. Uh, these are the socks right here. Um, here's a picture of the sock compared to my foot. These were uh, very small and I, I sent my sizing over. I specified that it was United States sizing um, and like it fits. If I really stretch it, it's a stretchy sock. It will fit, but it was just very tight on my toes. It was really like pulling at them and it was not very comfortable. So with the second suit that came along, they ended up sending me two pairs of socks. And uh, the first pair fit exactly the same as the first one. Uh, the second pair I'm actually wearing right now, and um, they're a little large. They're a little flabby. Um, they're a lot more comfortable than the other one, but I mean, they are too big. So I think I'm just in a weird middle period with their sizing when it comes to the socks. I'm a US size 10 and a half. I have not found any socks better than black style. I've tried several places. If you want toe socks, black styles is still my number one choice. Those socks are excellent. So now that I've gotten to wear the suit around a bit, have some fun, let me give you the pros and cons of this Yulon Studios suit. Starting with one of the biggest pros, Yulon Studios uses name brand latex sheeting, specifically Radical Rubber. Now, if you've shopped around different companies, you may see Radical, 4D, or Supatex. Those are probably the most common name brands when it comes to uh, latex sheeting. And that is very important because when you look at some of the other brands, I keep going back to Latex Catfish, but also Kink Projects. They have a bit of what I call mystery meat latex to them. My last uh, latex catfish suit was this heavy boiler suit. And uh, when it arrived, it had this really horrible, like chemical, like a chemical chocolate bar smell to it. It really gave me a bad headache and it took a good six months for that smell to dissipate out of the suit. It did not smell like how latex should have smelled. And uh, it, there was something up with that mix. So, um, you know, the fact that they have name brand latex sheeting, definitely a huge plus. The second option with this suit is this 3D crotch design that they have. Now this was a little extra, but if you are ordering from Yulon, highly recommend getting it. I'm actually surprised more makers haven't included this design. You can see here's, here's the 3D crotch design right there. You can see it poking out a little bit. It's super comfortable. It's about as comfortable as you can get before you move up to a cod piece. Uh, but this is way more durable than a cod piece because if you've ever used cod pieces, once those snaps break, your whole suit is fucked. Like that is, that is definitely a weak point with any cod piece is snaps. So the fact that this is just zippered and in the suit is a huge win-win, especially when you gotta zip up and down that area. Just lots of room, super comfortable. I hope more uh, manufacturers adopt this type of design. I love this crotch. And then lastly, definitely the turnaround time. Again, I have not experienced a manufacturing time like this for custom made suits that was, you know, first one was 13 days, second one was 21 days. That is unheard of, especially post COVID where I'm seeing a lot of established manufacturers saying like, oh yeah, our stuff's not gonna be ready for two, three, four months. Like people are waiting that long for their orders. So the fact that they are able to do all this, <laughs> you know, two separate orders in two months like that, you know, with a month each, it was 
great. Like, fantastic turnaround time for that on Yulon's part. Now, some of the neutral stuff that I want to talk about, these are, you know, more subjective to the person, but things I definitely feel should be worth mentioning. Um, one is the type of teeth used with uh, Yulon latex. If you look right here, you can see these are very small zipper teeth, and because of that, the zipper does have a bit of friction when it goes up and down. It's it's not very smooth, and I have noticed that these small types of zipper teeth, um, they break a lot more easily. I've done several repairs, both on my own suits uh, and repairing other people's gear, and every time they have a broken zipper, it's these small little wire zippers. The zippers that I most prefer are these ones, these big plastic zippers um they just they have a lot less friction going up and down compared to the the wire ones um <laughs> i say that it gives me some friction but they just i've never had any durability issues with these big plastic ones uh whenever i see manufacturers using these highly recommend it this is a latex 101 suit i know regulation tls rubber gear libidex they all use these big plastic zippers and highly recommend them if you have the option the big zippers are so worth it so i would love to see you lawn adopt those big zippers or at least provide the option for them because way more durable than these little small flimsy wire zippers that they currently got on there another interesting thing of note is the way the suit itself is cut um hopefully you can see the leg of the suit here is actually separate from the body of the suit here this leg piece and this body suit are separate and that's different from again going back to my well-loved latex 101 suit you can see here's you know the body panel and then going down to the leg this is all a solid piece of latex in that regard there's no seam going up by the leg whereas you know again going back to Yulon here is the seam for the leg just something of note, I don't think there's any durability concerns with the design being the way it is, uh, but it may fit differently for you if this uniform design, uh, you know, if that's fit you traditionally in the past, it may fit slightly different, but I personally haven't had any issues with it. I just thought that was an interesting design choice with the suit. You know, one of the last things I wanna to touch on is the pricing isn't that competitive for Yulon latex um, and you know when you think of Chinese suits I think of very affordable very low cost like the hundred dollar cat suits that you can get from kink projects and latex catfish this suit right now on Ally Express is going for $279 and to put things in perspective skin tight rubber a well-established brand coming out of the UK you can get a shoulder zip suit from them right now for $250 you know another UK brand invincible they've been around for 30 years they've you know a big standing player in the latex community they've contributed a lot they have a lot of brand recognition behind them you can get a shoulder zip with a cod piece for $290 uh, you know it's just there it's really a tough ask to go for a bit of a no-name Chinese brand when these well-established European and UK brands are you know right there for the same money, you know, relatively speaking, you know, and I should also add that with that invincible suit that doesn't include the price for custom sizing uh, with Yulon, the price that $279 from AliExpress does include uh, custom sizing and it also includes free shipping. So keep that in mind. That does give it some value add. It, it's just a bit of a tough pill to swallow and it's not much of a deal compared to the European counterparts that you can also get which are well established and you know well known within the community itself you know again just for that kind of money Ally Express really isn't appropriate in my opinion I go to Ally Express for $10 shirts of Spongebob smoking a blunt like you don't get $300 cat suits off Ally Express a at least as a Westerner I would have been highly suspicious had I not had a friend that's dealt with y'all before. <laughs> I would highly recommend making your own website. It just is a lot more established for a Western audience. So now the cons, really the only con that I have with this is 
Again, this is, you know, a custom size one. I used their measurements, double checked it with friends to make sure that the sizing that was being done was accurate. Uh, of course, never size yourself when you are sizing up for measurements, always have someone else do it because like when you bend over, you're gonna mess up with your measurements and stuff. So always have a friend do the measurements for you. Uh, but I double check my measurements and even still, the top part of this suit, especially like around my shoulders and around the chest area is a uh, very tight, it's like around the biceps here. It, 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 it's, they definitely size these things small. Um, so if you're like in the middle between, oh, should I do 24, 25 centimeters, go bigger, go, go a little liberal with your sizing measurements because they size it tight. Um, you know, it's still, it's still wearable, but it is, it is noticeably tighter and my flexibility, especially in the upper body portion of the suit is a lot more limited than my other suits. Uh, even with the chlorination, it's just, it, it's, it is a very tight fit on me. So their sizing runs small. Definitely give yourself uh, a little wiggle room in your measurements. So there we go, guys. Those are my thoughts on Yulon Studios. I hope you all enjoyed it. Biggest takeaway I can say from this is that manufacturing time. If they can keep up those times, keep them under a month, that is huge. Because right now, especially in the post-pandemic world, uh, the manufacturers, the latex manufacturers are struggling to keep up with the demand. And I'm seeing people with huge order wait times. So if, if you need something fast, this has got my recommendation, at least for now. Who knows again how time will be? Uh, I'm putting out this review in October 2022, so hopefully it keeps up. But as it stands right now, this is the fastest place I've seen for any latex gear. Good on you, Yawn, for that. And again, I have to give them a big thanks for making me the new suit when they saw that the first one didn't fit properly. It was almost no questions asked, and you know they didn't even charge me for shipping for it. That is just A plus customer service. I really appreciate that and I really want to make it known. Just good on y'all, Yulon, for like doing that. That was fantastic. Uh, otherwise, that's all I got. Time will tell how long the suit holds up for. I am a little concerned with just how tight it is up here. Um, there is a lot of stress going on between the, the glued seams here. So we'll see if uh, like my armpits prematurely start to rip because you know they are, they are a bit stretched there. Um, we'll see, time will tell. But for right now, suit's been holding up well. So that's my review and I'll see y'all in the next one.